Hey, good morning. So just a little bit on the topic of, of self-love and uh, as related to being a dad, a dad in recovery. And, uh, you know, for years, I mean, most of my life, I've heard this statement, you know, you have to love yourself. And, uh, and I would be like, yeah, okay. You know, and, and uh, but I didn't really know who I was. So who do I love? <laughs> you know, it seemed very confusing uh, for me to this idea of loving myself. And yet I realized, you know, that if I'm to be the dad that I want to be, um, it's important to be, have this, I, I don't even know what to call it, uh, not a sense of confidence, but a, a you know, a, um, knowing myself. I think maybe knowing myself is more uh, really in the loving of myself. And, and so the, the, the last 40 some years for me has been a journey of, of, of getting to know myself. And, and, and then as, as that's happened, I've been more available, I believe you know, for my, my kids. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm an older dad, but I'm still a dad. It's funny. Yesterday, uh, we had a family event here at my house and, and, uh, um, where I'm most comfortable is serving, you know, what can I, how can I make this event, you know, more, not memorable, but more, uh, uh pleasurable, I guess, more, uh, yeah, so yesterday, uh, Regan and Luke came and Luke's family and and uh, Linda and Bruce and, and Leslie and we had a, a day together. So, you know, a family day, you know, I think that, you know, to be able to do that, we have to know ourselves and love ourselves and, and uh, um, just looking inside that in the you know, because my my focus is dads in recovery, um, looking inside is part of the of the recovery process. You know, how do we get to know ourselves so that we're not uh, kind of beating ourselves up? And and uh, and I I can still do that. You know, I really can <laughs> still you know be hard on myself and and uh, not think I did it well enough or whatever. So anyway, know thyself. Know thyself. How do we get to that? It's part of what we do in this, you know, what, what my goal is with Dads in Recovery is to, is to help men, you know, discover who they are. And, and as a dad, but in life. And, and uh, you know, yeah. Yeah. Love thyself. What does that look like? Yeah. So if we stop long enough to, to be with it, you know, stop long enough to meditate and to sit quietly. Um, I'm my backyard. It's just so gorgeous, you know, and just feeling uh, the presence of my dogs and and uh, called my boys this morning. They were on the road heading, you know, out for a couple of days. It was wonderful to talk to them in the car. So. It, as we get to know ourselves, we're more, I believe, available for others, more available to serve, to listen, you know, to um, show that we care. Yeah. So that's it. Know thyself. Part of, you know, if, you, if you're a dad and uh, um, it's funny, we often, we, we Men in recovery, men, women too, I'm sure, but dads in recovery um, can have a bit of a quiet desperation. It doesn't matter, you know, how much we own. It, uh, the, our stuff doesn't fill us up, you know. But uh, having our loved ones close by and, and being available for them and reaching out to them, uh, no matter how old we are in our, no matter how old we are as dads, you know, I mean, my kids are, are, you know, 40, in, in their 40s, and, and late 30s, and early 30s, and, and uh, to have that relationship, you know, it's amazing. So, I, I encourage that for all of you, for lifetime, 
So knowing ourselves, doing the work in recovery, I believe brings us to this place of, of, um, of love for our kids and, and, uh, um, and brings us to this place of a, a certain satisfaction that we've, we've done the job, we're doing it. And it's, it's, a, you know, it's part of our experience as a human to, as we, if we have kids to be able to be there, it's beautiful. Anyway, I'm rambling a bit this morning. Love you guys. And uh, Fred, good to see you. Kathy, good to see you. Laura Lee, good to see you. <laughs> Love to even make comments. You know, if you know dads in recovery, I just, you know, send them my way. I want to talk with them and, and find out how they're doing and be available for them and love them. Many of them didn't have a dad themselves. And, and uh, uh, some of them need an older man to, to spend time with and, and, and learn from example. So that's it. Love you. And what a gorgeous morning in Alberta. Cheers.